Hey guys, it's me. So today is my three week. Oh, I look like a hot mess. <laughs> today is my three week post op lap band um, update. And I guess, let's see, for those of you who are new to my videos, I had lap band surgery on June the 12th, 2013. Um, my starting weight was 219. My surgery date weight was 205, and my current weight has not changed. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm still stuck. I'm stuck at the 197.4, but I have beat myself up over this enough. Um, I talked to a bunch of people, and <coughs> I've watched a bunch of new lap band um, people videos, and apparently... I don't know if I just like lost a whole bunch of weight at once and then I see I'm stumbling on my words now the videos from some of the new people that I've watched they lost like 18 or 19 pounds in six weeks so I think you know the fact that I lost 22 pounds already and I'm on week three I, I'm tired of being upset over that and I'm tired of worrying about it it is what it is. Um, I spoke to my caseworker at the weight loss center today, and she told me that, probably, well, she pretty much said it is exactly what I've been thinking, which I'm doing my calorie, I'm doing the my fitness pal thing, and I'm coming in under every day, under my daily al allowance. And, um, but I'm still restricted. I had a pretty big surgery on top of my lap band surgery all at once. And I'm not allowed to work out. So I can't do anything until I go back to see him on July the 3rd. And, you know, he told me to expect to gain. He said a lot of patients gain between surgery and, you know, once they come off their liquid diet, between then and their first feel that they'll actually have gains. So I'm not worried. Um, as long as I'm not gaining, which I'm not, I think that I'm okay. And I'm not, i got to stop beating myself up over this. It's not a race, you know, it's not a competition. Each of us are going to gain and lose at our own pace and you know um i got really upset yesterday and um you know i i made bad food choices because i was upset i fell back into fat girl mode and thank god i didn't do enough damage that you know i didn't gain anything back so um but i just weighed and the scale is sorry my, we're having Bible school this week, and I'm teaching, and I have a really big class this year, and we were out playing, and frisbees went flying across the fence, and I went to retrieve them in flip-flops, and now I think I've been in, like, chiggers because I'm itching, but my feet are itching, um, but I'm just not going to worry about it anymore. It is what it is, and as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, and I'm not gaining, then I'm okay with that. I'm still in Wonderland, and that makes me happy. <laughs> You know, I've not been in Wonderland in about six or eight years, so that's fine with me. Anyways, I don't want to make this video, like, horribly long. <coughs> so, I went today, and I got my um, treadmill, and I'm super excited about that. My husband put it together for me. It's ready to go, and I think, even though I'm not supposed to, I think I'm going to do, like, some... I want to do an hour a day is what everybody said they started out at. And so I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is like 15 minute low impact walks um, until I get the 60 minutes in. I, I don't know if that will help. You know, it's not going to be a hard workout, but you know, it's better than not doing anything. And, you know, he told me not to be doing a lot of walking. He said five minutes at a time, walk to the mailbox, go back in. Um, but I'm not having any more of that pain that I was having down here, you know, unless I eat more than my half a cup that I'm supposed to eat. Which is weird because I don't have a feel, so it kind of freaks me out some. But anyways, so, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to start, get on a, a low-impact exercise program tomorrow and just do my best to make sure I don't gain and try to just maintain until I get my feel. And hopefully that will work out. So, I had a non-scale victory um, 
this week and I really hadn't I was avoiding buying any kind of clothes even though I did notice that my stuff was loose and some of my stuff has fallen off of me even with the belt so um but I was getting ready for Bible school um day before yesterday and I was like oh, I don't have anything to wear so I went down and picked up I went to the dollar store because I don't want to spend a ton of money on clothes and I picked up a new skirt and then I saw these little these shorts and I was like you know I just wonder I really wonder if I could wear those because I had to get my skirt a size smaller and so I went and tried them on and they fit so I haven't really told my sizes yet I kind of still don't want to um, but I am a full size smaller in pants and shorts or whatever skirts um, than I was when I came out of the hospital from my surgery so um, I really I didn't do body shots this week because I'm trying to decide what to wear because what I was using um, you can't really tell anything so I'm gonna just show you guys what I bought um, I guess you can see let me adjust my phone my camera my webcam ain't working right now so but these are the shorts um, that I bought and I'm so excited they're not elastic waist they have a built-in belt and um, I have room in them you know I do I have room and so I'm really excited um, they're banded but they're not elastic bands and I, I mean they really are they're loose so that's the caboose so body shots I guess um, so I'm mostly belly I've always been mostly belly and my scars are healing up really nice I can't get the glue off if you guys know this is the only um, stir strips that I have left and it looks gross they're about to fall off but he said not to pull them this is where my ports at so I'm not pulling them um, but if you guys know how to get this glue off um, please let me know because I don't know how to get it off and somebody told me fingernail polish remover so I wondered if that was safe if you guys knew or did you just let it wear off for what you did because it looks it looks like I'm not cleaning my feet are itching me off and um it's so it's driving me crazy so I guess I really did get into some shakers um but anyways yeah so things are going good it's it's been a rough week like I said I've been beating myself up over this not losing weight but if I'm not gaining and I'm maintaining and I'm staying in Wonderland I'm happy for now but if something don't happen once I get my feel, then I'm really going to be upset. Yeah, my feet are driving me insane. I'm going to have to go soak. But anyways, so that's my update for this week. I hope everybody's doing good. Congratulations to everybody that hit Wonderland. I did not know about the dance video thing, so I'm going to try to get a chance to do that this week. Um, you know, sorry, it'll be late. But like I said, we've had Bible school all week this week, and so it's been... A long week but I've had a blast and um, I love everybody and if you guys need me holler at me on Facebook um, or holler at me on here on YouTube and I'll talk to you guys later